Alright guys, so in the um, latest video, I made a small mistake by um, increasing the object level of detail when I got higher. And it should be the other way around. It should decrease as I don't need all that detail when I'm up in the sky. As we're departing here from Leso in, um, in Spain. So thanks to Gorsten um, Hanger providing with a, uh, a very detailed configuration for the um, dynamic level of detail. It's working much better. And I implanted this one myself as well and it works really really good so now you have small increments of um, the altitude and the uh, the increase of the terrain level of detail and the decrease of object level of detail So this is how it should work, because, well, I used uh, profile number one and as you saw in the video, I uh, also uh, put an extra uh, AGL level uh, in it, but that was uh, not the correct way, so sorry about that, it's the end of the year, I'm allowed to make a lot of mistakes. <laughs> But now it really runs very smooth. Really smooth flying now, guys. This is, this is good. All right, and I have another extra uh, tool for you that I found on uh, flightsim.to. And that's about to delete all your shader cache and other cache before starting up the sim. And that also reduces a lot of stutters. So this is uh, Lima Echo Sierra Oscar in Spain. Beautiful airport. Small one. Really well made. Okay guys, this was it. This was Mike Fertisim. And uh, sorry about the mistake I made. But I hope it's fine now. And if you go to the community tab, you will find the, uh, a post with, uh, um, with all these levels. So feel free to copy them and have fun with this, uh, this very nice mod. I'm really happy with it. Alright, bye bye for now and take care.